Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Mildenhall and I bet you weren't expecting to see me again today. Um, two videos in one day. Um, this is something completely different in the sense of it's not something I've really talked about before or, or anything like that. But the subject is a fake DMU for Mildenhall. So that's what this today's subject is about. So I'm going to take you to the layout and I'll explain more. So toodaloo. So here is my fake DMU. And some of you may be asking, what is fake about this DMU? Well, this DMU isn't quite what it seems. This DMU is actually um, come from the Batman starter set under the guise of a Super Sprinter Regional Railways livery. And this particular 150 has now been rebranded into First Great Western um, colour scheme. And that's what's fake about it because it's not actually... Um, <clears throat> Kerno Models actually did bring out, um, I believe, the 151 and the 150-2 in the first Great Western livery. But this particular 151 is neither of those. This particular 150 started life out, like I said, as a Super Sprinter um, Regional Railways starter set DMU. Um, so, how did I achieve this is probably your next question. So now it's time to take you back um, to my face and to my laptop to explain more about it. So some time ago, um, I got wind of, an, of a company called Electrorail Graphics. And it's exactly as it says, um, they do graphics for um, DMUs, all sorts of DMUs. I'll show you in a minute. And a YouTuber had posted up that they were going to get some graphics from this company, which I wasn't really aware of. So my little ears went like that and perked up a bit and went, oh, let me have a quick look, see if there's anything, because that sounds like something that I'd wanted to do. And sure enough, there was some graphics on there that I really, really liked. Um, this was for a class 158-159. Now I don't actually own 158s or 159s anymore and I only had that sprinter left um, as a normal sprinter. And I was half debating about selling it on because it didn't really fit what I was doing here. But then I thought, I come across Electrorail's graphics and I had a look and they did graphics as you can see for the 150-1. And it did it for First Great Western. So I thought, well, I'll order those graphics up. Because then that will fit in with the sort of era that I'm running. And will go well with my Batman 450 Southwest trains. So I ordered these up some time ago. And I have to be fair. Because obviously you guys watch my channel. And I don't want to lose my own credibility by giving you misinformation in terms of, you know, you thinking it's one thing and it turns out to be something else or whatever. So this is kind of a bit like my Depol 68 um, because I ordered it from his website and I'll show you the website and I'll show you what you can expect to get. So, um, and a few weeks after I'd ordered it, I hadn't heard anything from him and I still hadn't received these graphics. And I was kind of wondering what was going on. Um, so I contacted him and he does leave a number on his website. Um, and it says to call him after 7pm, which is what I did. Sure enough, he answered the phone. Um, but the response I got wasn't really what I'd expect, to be truthful. Um, he was pretty short with me um, in some ways. And... He did say to me, oh, it does say on the website it could take up to four weeks. And I didn't realise this, so I just apologised and, and let it be and had a bit more of a conversation about it. Um, four weeks come and went, and um, I still heard nothing. And I phoned him up again, and again he was a bit short with me. Um, he then apologised to me for that. But to me, it was kind of like, you know, you're, you're, 
but providing a service here and I've paid good money and um, it cost me £25 for the graphics and that being said they're actually that's pretty good um, but this is four weeks down the line and I still hadn't heard anything and there was no sign of when it was going to happen and I did explain to him well look you know you could at least send me an email to sort of say look this is what's going on with your order and just let us know um, but he didn't do that he, but he didn't turn around and said, look, he said, once they're on their way to you, I'll get an email out to you to let you know that they're on their way to you, so you know to expect them. And today, um, I was actually going to pull the plug on it. I was actually going to contact him tonight and say, look, I don't want these graphics. I want my money back. Um, and as it turns out, these graphics turned up today. Um, and this is about six weeks later, um, which, to be honest with you, isn't very good. And I didn't really want to spend six weeks waiting around for the graphics. Um, he apparently does the graphics himself and then goes to a printer to get them done. And the printers then do it and all the rest of it. And he's saying basically it's down to the printers to get it to him. And he's been waiting on them before he can send it out to me on this occasion. Um, however, that being said, that's not really very good customer service to me. Um, because I know from my local printers and I get a lot done that I can get stuff done in a few days so if it was a week fair enough or whatever but six weeks seems a bit much so just to put you in the picture that this is what could happen if you ordered the graphics from him um, I'm glad and I'm happy enough with them and I'll show you them in a bit more closer detail um, in a few minutes but I just want you to make you aware that if you go down this road, um, then you may have to wait. So, well, you will definitely have to wait some time. Um, whether his attitude towards you is any better, um, that, that's, I don't know. Um, the thing was, is that the graphics that I want, it's not something that Hornby do. It's not something that Batman do. They're not likely to bring these models out in model form. I mean, the first Great Western, Kernos did it as a special, but the whole point of me buying these graphics was actually more of a test to see about what the quality was like, what they were like to put on, um, before ordering any more, um, because I was thinking of maybe possibly buying a second-hand 158 from eBay and then getting the graphics from this guy, the ones that I want, that I can't get anywhere else, and then do it like that. So I was kind of using this 150 as a test bed, but the service was just really not what I wanted and really not what I expected. Um, but I have them now, and um, like I said, I'll show you how they come on the computer. So here we are on Google Images. And um, so you can look this up yourself um, if, and just type in Electrorail and electrical graphics and you come up with a selection of graphics now this is sort of the best picture that i've come up with in terms of how big it i can just bring it up to make it clear for you how it comes um this is on this occasion for a class 158 dmu and it as you can see it comes in two bands and you take one's one's for one side one's for the other side and obviously you get two and essentially you just peel it off and you carefully stick it on. Um, on the class 150 that I did it was actually more complicated because the doors are recessed. Now on the 158 for example um, the doors are just flat and flush anyway but on the 150 the doors are actually recessed so it makes it more difficult. Um, so what happens is, is if you take the doors out you'll end up left with this tiny little thing that holds it all together and basically if you're not careful the um, the self-adhesive vinyl can go back on itself so you really need to sort of be a bit careful when you do it so what I did is I actually cut it into um, three pieces and I'll show it to you when I show it to you on the layout um, once again but this is just an example of how it will arrive to you you just get it in in these kind of strips like this and then it's up to you to then peel it 
Now, the one thing to say about this is there wasn't any instructions to this at all on what the best way to do it, on the best method to do it, which again was was a little bit kind of a bit off, to be honest. But hey ho, I mean, you would expect to have some instructions, but I guess it's self-explanatory. You just have to go carefully and um, and just take your time, really. So I'm just going to zoom out of this. And if I go to here, this is their website, Electric, Electrograph, Electrorail Graphics. Now on here, um, on in front of you, it's got a picture of the 150-1, which is what I have. Um, if I scroll down, it says livery options, but again, it could have done with some information on here in terms of pictures, so you know what you're ordering. Um, so you can have original, provincial, you can have regional railways, and there's a selection, you just scroll down to choose which ones you want. And then you just add it to the cart. Now you've got engaged on the left as well, you've got the, you've got the ones, it's all, it's all there, engaged, and there's double O gauge um, further down. So this isn't just... Um, the double O gauge isn't just 150s, like I said, you can order it for 158, 159. If you've got an old Hornby Pacer, I think that's what that's for. Um, you can also do it for 156s, 153s and 150-2s. Um, you could also do it for um, high speed trains, HSTs. And you could do, and they've got here, um, complete HST sets. So if you want to rebrand a HST that you've got, you can do that. Um, we've got East Midlands Trains, First Great Western in the blue. Um, we've got East Coast, Great Western in the dark green, and the Network Rail, New Measurement Train. Um, again, like I said, if you have a HST or a DMU that really doesn't fit your ear and you're thinking of selling it, then maybe you can rebrand it, which is precisely what I've done with my um, 150. Um, you've also got coaches. Um, so let's just have a look at the coaches. So you've got so it tells you which which coaches that they've got there. So basically, there's a whole selection of what can be done on his on his on his um, website. So this is the 150 in um, First Great Western Blue with the Electrorail graphics on it. Um, now the quality, I have to say, is is very good. Um, I won't say it's high quality, but it is it's really good, and I'm pleased with it. Um, so what I think the 150, if you're going to do a 150, is probably the most complicated. Is what he said to me. Um, the reason being is that the doors here, let me just move that out of the way, the doors here are recessed. And because they're recessed, they're separate. But that means that the rest of the graphics hang on that tiny little strip that goes along the top. And otherwise, what happens is, is the rest, because once you take the doors out, the rest of the graphics kind of go like that. So what I, so the first time I did it, on the first side, I tried to do it I started doing it as a whole complete coach, but then I quickly realized that the best way to do it was to cut it in segments. And I cut it into um, four segments, I believe. One, two, yeah, four segments. So I cut from here to that line there above the door line. And then there's this section in the middle, and I cut it there as well. And what it is, is just that you can hide the joints better on that small section. You can't see the joints. And it was more manageable to get the vinyls to line up with the windows um, this way than try and do it all in one go. Because, like I said, it all hangs on these tiny little strips when you, and that one and that one, when you remove the doors and put them on separately. So that was one bit there. That was the second bit. The third bit was this bit here, and the fourth bit was the other bit just be, just be on top of the driver's door there. 
So there was no front to it, it was just literally the sides. So what I did first was to put the doors in and also did the cab door is also separate. So I did those first. And then like I said, I cut this first bit, the cab end and put that in and lined up first. And then I did this one next and so on and so forth for both sides. Um, now he did say that you can weather these up and you can use a matte varnish on them to tone them down if you want. Um, and also you can also use a scalpel blade to cut round the windows because there actually is a film on the windows. And on one of them, I actually did do that because something got trapped underneath the um, underneath the glazing and um, it was bugging me so I took the scalpel to it and I did actually take it off, it actually looks better. So what I might do is with the rest of it, I might do exactly the same. Um, like I said, these are graphics from Electrorail which I have used. So I've just zoomed you out a bit and I just wanted to show you a few other bits. Um, Electrorail also do provide you with this which is the destination boards for the front of the train. Um, but I'd already bought these ones off of eBay and these ones are of much better quality. I haven't actually put them on yet, but you can tell by the writing um, that you can that they're better quality and you have the option of using um, the black with the day glow blind um, background or with the white background, so you do have an option of the two. Um, and this is actually for Great Western. So you've got a selection of Great Western um, destinations that you can use. So that will be going on the front. Um, and I'll show you on the front shortly. So this is the front of my DMU. Um, as you can see, um, it's got the Preston blinds on the front of that. So that needs to be changed. But like I just showed you, I've got the destination blinds for that. So I'll be doing that shortly. And one of the other things about this particular DMU is that it used to have the um, chrome surrounds, which became part of the train set pack from Batman. So what I did is, because the first Great Western 150s never had that, I just painted out the, the chrome so it's completely black. Um, as per the real thing. So now this actually looks like a first Great Western um, class 150 barring the blinds. Um, like I said, from what I have already, I'll just be using those and I'll be putting them on shortly. My intention was actually to show you me actually doing it. But to be honest with you, it's quite a fiddly job. And um, I've done it now and I like the results. Um, I haven't, I wouldn't say that it was a pleasant experience totally. Um, I'm not sure if I'd actually order from him again, to be honest, um, because it was a bit of a nightmare trying to actually get the, the graphics here to begin with. Um, I also don't know how long they'll last. I don't know what the sort of quality is in terms of are they eventually going to peel in the end or are they going to last a long time? Who knows? Um, however, that being said, um, it is a good way of just putting some old DMUs uh, back into service, maybe some old coaches back into service, um, doing it this way. And it's a definitely a more cheaper option than paying um, for a brand new um, Batman First Great Western 150, for example, because I know they're about £200 or so. Um, this has cost me about £25, but like I said, it's taken such a long time to get here and the customer service wasn't particularly great. Um, so I didn't really like the idea that I had to keep chasing him because I shouldn't have to. Um, I feel like he should have just kept on top of it and let me know what was going on and kept me in the loop. Um, however, it does look effective. It will do a job and it's something that I can now use on the layout. Um, he does have a number of other um, graphics to choose from. And if you still wish to do so, then please, by all means, contact him and um, explain to him what you want. Um, but like I said, from my own personal experience, um, yeah, I think it's good value for money. I think it does look good. Um, 
but like I said, I think it's the customer service side that kind of lets it down. And if it was something that he could expedite a lot quicker, then I'd probably get a few more from him, but I don't really fancy the aggro, to be honest. So I am contemplating whether or not I might do. I'm going to see how I live with this one for a while and how this one gets on. Um, it's something that I've got now. It's something that's done. And um, we'll see how it runs. So I'll leave you with a few running shots. And um, I hope this video has been of some use to somebody. And um, take care. And, and until the next time, like I said about a few hours ago, it's goodbye from Milton Paul and Volmer. Bye-bye.